Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you how to build your very own wireless monitor so that you can see what you're shooting without having to be wired to the camera and you can show it to your friends and they don't have to bother you when you're trying to get your shot. So a professional wireless monitor can be incredibly expensive. That's why I'm going to tell you how to build your own. It's still not going to be incredibly cheap, it'll probably cost you in the range of $300 to $500 to build it, but it's an incredibly useful tool to have. Let's get started. To build a wireless monitor, you're going to first need a monitor. I'd recommend a Lilliput monitor. You can get them on Amazon for pretty cheap. I have this rig on the monitor which lets you hold it in your hands. It's incredibly convenient. It's a CPM monitor rig. Uh, there will be links in the description, by the way, for all this stuff that I'm talking about. The other core component is your transmitter. This is a Nereus Aries Pro. There's other types of wireless transmitters. Basically, if you go to Amazon and you type in wireless HDMI, you'll see a bunch of different types of things like this. It's also very useful if you want to play like, games on your computer, on your TV, and sitting in your living room and they don't, they're not next to each other. You can use a wireless monitor system to actually have your computer run to your TV. Pretty cool. We just repurposed it to use it for a wireless monitor. This system has a range of about 30 feet through walls to about 60 feet line of sight. It's full 1080p, 60 frames a second, with pretty much no latency. So you can actually pull focus using the wireless monitor. So it's a very useful tool to have. The one other thing you need to think about is, of course, batteries. If you're going to be wireless, you need to have a wireless power source. In this case, I have a big honking battery <laughs> to power the receiver. It doesn't need to be this big, and I'll go into that in a little bit. And then I also have another battery to power the monitor, because the monitor sucks a lot of juice. So let's get started breaking this down, showing you guys what you need to get and how you need to arrange your system to build a functioning wireless monitor. You'll need your literally put monitor and you're going to need the rigging to go around it. You'll have to experiment with it. You, of course, don't need to use the rig I'm showing you. You don't even need a rig at all, but you need the Lilliput monitor. Then on that monitor, you need a way to attach the battery for the monitor, the battery for the receiver, and that's actually about it. In this case, what I've built is I have this little rig here that this big battery clips into. And then I built a little pouch out of gaff tape with a little Velcro flap. <laughs> that this battery fits into. And then I've used airsoft connectors, which I have wired in to the battery and to the monitor, and I simply plug them together, and that powers the monitor. Whoa! For the receiver, right here, you can basically use any kind of iPhone charging battery. Basically anything that has a USB out in terms of power, because this receiver is actually just powered off of USB 5 volts. However, it has a bit of a funky connection. It has the USB on one end and the little round cylinder on the other end. And you can get these cables pretty much anywhere. Amazon, Google, the internet, <laughs> for like five to 10 bucks. Anyways, plugs in the receiver and then you plug the USB end into your phone charging battery or in this case, I have this big laptop battery. And that will power the receiver. Then you also need a very short HDMI cable. This very short HDMI cable will run from the receiver into the monitor. And that's your full monitor setup. That's it. Super light, handheld, easy maneuver. The uh, battery powering the monitor here will last for about four hours. The battery powering the receiver will last for about two days. I kind of overkilled it on the battery powering the receiver, but whatever. <laughs> on the camera side of things, you have your transmitter. It's really tiny. It's almost like a USB flash drive. When you get it, it comes with a little 90 degree angle that you can put on the top of it. I'd actually recommend it because it makes it easy just to Velcro this to the side of your camera and then you can have your cable come off and plug into your HDMI port. So really compact, really slim. Now of course you need a way to power the transmitter. Depending on what type of system you're using, you're going to need to come up with a different way to power this. In my case, we're using big honking batteries that power our red camera. They have something on them called a D-tap, which is this little thing right here. So we actually have a D-tap to USB connector that we made right here. So we can actually power our little transmitter off the same battery that's powering our camera. Really convenient, don't need extra batteries in the camera, it's just one cable and that's it. Now most of you guys will probably be shooting on DSLRs or Sony camcorders or other types of systems. Now for that, you might just want to get another iPhone battery, similar to the one that we would have on our monitor, and you just plug your little USB cable in from the iPhone battery the transmitter and like Velcro it to your camera. Small, compact, lightweight, out of the way. All right, time to get specific. What do you get? What do you buy? A Lilliput monitor, 1080p with HDMI input. So if you don't want to power it off these little bricks that you can get, you can build your own. 
The monitor can be powered off of a DC connection also, one of those little cylindrical connectors that slide into those holes. You can take that, the connector that fits it, and splice in a little connector for, a, for another type of battery. In this case, I use Airsoft uh, connectors. If you guys need help on wiring, just do a little Google search or hop onto a forum. People will help you. It's very straightforward. If I look at the label for this monitor, it says operation volts, 12 volts. So I need to make sure whatever battery I'm running into the monitor is a 12 volt battery. In this case, I have a nickel metal hydride battery, 12 volts, with another Airsoft connector spliced onto the end. So I just slip it into my little spot that I made for it, connect the two connectors, and now my monitor is powered. The next step is powering your receiver. You have your USB battery. It'll have a USB plug on the battery, and it'll have the little cylindrical plug input on the receiver. And the receiver, I think, comes with a cable. In this case, I have a little Velcro mount here on this little thing. Stick it on the monitor. I have the battery. Stick that on the monitor. Plug it all in, and you're good to go there. And that is the entire monitor package. Moving to the camera side of things, the transmitter. What do you need to power this? Just a simple iPhone battery or Android battery, some sort of USB charging device. If you are running a more beefy system that it runs with bigger batteries and has DTAP, you'll want a DTAP to 5 volt converter, aka USB. Now, where do you get this? These are kind of hard to find. I've seen a couple in America, but they're like 100 bucks, and that's a lot of money for a cable. Here's the easy way to do it you get a little car adapter that goes in the cigarette lighter that takes in a full 12 volts, which is what this will put out, and it has a 5 volt output on the other end. You can also get a DTAP, just a basic DTAP connection online, look around for them. You can wire that DTAP up to this little cigarette lighter. By popping it open, you'll see where the connectors go. And this turns into just a basic 5 volt out. Takes your 12 volts from the battery, turns it into 5 volts with your little car cigarette lighter adapter. Or, if you do enough searching and dig deep enough on eBay, you can find a little module that will do it for you as well, which is what I found here. You don't necessarily need to bother with all this big battery stuff. You don't need to bother with the DTAP stuff. It's almost simpler if you just get one of those phone charging batteries. Then it's just a basic USB cable. One end into the battery, other end into your transmitter. Done. And of course, tiny HDMI cable to run to your uh, camera. It'd probably be good to show what this all looks like when it's up and running. Let me grab the camera.